Hi. Good day. <laughs> good day. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Miles? I'm pretty good. Um, good. Yeah. All our fans are here. Thank you. Thank you. Is that royalty free applause from the internet? It is royalty free. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually I got I got to pay royalties for that one. Do you? <laughs> no. Can you imagine if I had to pay to press the applause button? Well, <laughs> it's like the opposite of what should happen. We were talking about what we wanted to do. Hold on a sec. Just don't get the mic wet. We're Isn't that good. cool? Very, very nice. Isn't that cool how microphones can do that? Pick up all that noise. <laughs> Very, what very kind of microphone is this? It's a Shure SM7B. Michael Jackson recorded Thriller on this microphone. I was going to say, it looks like the same microphone that Michael Jackson recorded Thriller on. <laughs> well, <laughs> you would be correct. It exactly is. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, about royalty-free stuff. Yeah. Because I was saying, I'm like, we should we should do, we should should do show some funny clips from the internet. And it's yeah, like, we, we could maybe do that if but, I didn't get copyright strikes that's right <laughs> we don't want that so but you never maybe twitter twitter's a little easier because uh um there's a little less uh of you know that kind of shit going on but i don't know i don't know um oh. maybe, maybe we'll play this, this dr fucking, oz this, this, What's li- he doing? this big loser a cardiothoriac <laughs> surgeon oh wait do i even have the ability to, how do i go small here what is this what's happening here Go small. Click it. No, but this is going to be in the background. Okay. Let's fly by the seat of our pantaloons. Oh, we'll have to do it like this because oh, there's, there's no better way to do this. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that works out just fine. What's this loser saying? Telling data that... I'll hold that. We get double. Here we go. It shows the telling data that shows the kids wearing masks the way they do, which is cloth masks, not all the time. Who wears anything for eight hours in a row? When the masks get wet, they don't wear Data wear underwear that shows for eight the kids hours in wearing row. masks the way they do, which is cloth <laughs> exactly. masks, not all the time. Who wear- we wear we wear clothes for eight hours in a row. <laughs> oh man, what? I don't want oh. to. That guy's running for senate. I know. In what in Pennsylvania? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's um, right. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to talk about. No, no, we don't got to talk about that. Those guys. Oh, we can talk about the flu trucks. <laughs> the flu trucks clan. <laughs> Um, well, briefly, because I've covered so much at this convoy. Sure, yeah. When you were, when you were here last time, they were just that was the first weekend. That was the first. That was like what four weeks ago. This is the fourth weekend. Um, That's I, hey, ridiculous. Hey, protesting, sure, go for it. Occupying a city, a little different. <laughs> a little different. When you're having your your horns honk all day, all night. When you're harassing people in the street for wearing a mask. Um, having freedom, like I've. I feel pretty free, but I've never, I've never been so free that I've partied and shut down a like a, a major city and like had like a hot tub there and no. partied no. there for four weeks straight. So this seemed pretty free to me. Yeah, no, that's it's, it's enough freedom. I, I don't know. I, I've spoken my ass off about it on my channel. I'm not even sure what else to add to this. I don't know either. I, and and you haven't. What? You haven't spoken about it on the radio, have you? No, they told us not to. <laughs> but we've definitely gotten some. Uh, we've definitely had people call and be like, "Why are you talking about the trucker convoy?" <laughs> it's like, well, we have it in the news, so that's good enough. Yeah. But I guess we're not talking about it the way they want us to talk about it. But if you talked about it, you would not be talking about it the way they want you to talk about it. Exactly. <laughs> so I've had people message me and be like, "How do you feel about the convoy?" And I'm just like, "LOL, why?" And then I just <laughs> do don't they say anything. I I just don't say anything. That's all I say. Why That's probably the best know? way to, uh, yeah. Excuse me. Anyway, I'm really full from dinner still. I know. I bought uh, I bought us all dinner. I'm like from a, a nice little restaurant. No, no names. No names. <laughs> nice I, had a, I had a big burger though, and now I'm, I'm, uh, I'm feeling it. I'm definitely feeling. I it. I had fish and chips. I only had the one fish because I knew if I had two, it would be a disaster. Can we get an applause on that, please? <laughs> <laughs> please clap. Thanks for dinner. That was nice. Oh, no problem. Uh, thanks for the beer that you brought over. Yeah, last time I came over, um, I bought 24 tall boys, and I think we went to bed at like 10. We went to bed at 10 o'clock. <laughs> and so tonight we're going to try to not do that again. I slept in this morning. So did I. So I think we're, we're going to be good. Yeah. It's like when me and Dave get drunk together, we like to listen to music. Mm-hmm. We like to stay up and shoot the shit. Yeah. So hopefully we can do that. Uh, and also it's family day weekend, so we can we can 
be a family. We can be a family. <laughs> <laughs> we can be a family and stay up and do family stuff. Yeah, like play board games. Or board something. games. Yeah. Watch the NBA slam dunk contest. There we go. We can do that. <laughs> play video games. That's what I'll be doing. But I um, I'm not so good at video games when I've been drinking. No. Eh, it takes a lot of It depends me. on the game. Yeah. Well, we're Canadian, so we usually play NHL together. It's yeah. a good two-player game. And it's uh, I'm not good at it when I'm drunk. we got to play the newer one, though. I, I, I'm not... He wants to play the classic like NHL in ninety four. I'm like, I'm not that good. We played earlier today and I beat Dave four to one. I like I prefer the new games. Yeah. It's still fun. <laughs> but um yeah. Anyway, you know what? Fucking this time of year sucks, man. Fucking February. Like There's been so much snow, it's been ridiculous. The other day it melted. Like during the day. It was yeah, like seven th- degrees. Like two days it ago it melted. Everything was <laughs> melting. I was like, yes. And then that night we got dumped on. But yeah. the cool thing about it is in the US they name the winter storms and this winter storm's name is Winter Storm Miles. Wow. But when it crosses the border into Canada it's no longer Miles, right? No. Is it still Miles? The name is Miles. Well, we're not calling it, but if in Canada if we named winter storms it would still have that name, I'm sure. They'd have to coordinate that though. I guess. We're not that far away, <laughs> but it's still the same storm system. So what you're saying is that it's your fault. No, I'm saying <laughs> the only cool thing about the winter storm is that it's got the same name as me. But I've then, never had a storm name. But that makes before. it worse because now it's like your fault. Guaranteed there's been a tropical storm David or Hurricane David. Yeah, but I wouldn't brag about it. Like, ha, ah, this storm that killed 20 people is named David. No, man. So how about that? Wait until you get a winter storm named after you. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want that blame. <laughs> this is no don't blame. put that on me. <laughs> it's fun. It's something a little fun because everything sucks right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was well, uh, pretty pretty proud and pretty happy that they chose my name. That's why we, we drink to forget our troubles. Like Garth Brooks says, got to... <laughs> <laughs> what? What? You drink your blues away, you know? Oh, yeah. Friends in low places. Right. I thought you were going to talk about something... We were just watching uh, Tom Segura's <laughs> podcast, Your Mom's House, where they talk about Garth Brooks, and uh, they're playing all these clips of Garth being a total creep. Look, and, uh, I'm a big Garth Brooks fan, but the guy, he's a little weird. <laughs> but hey, to be that famous, you have to be, right? So, I guess. Well, that's, that's the way it is. <laughs> Depends on who you're talking about. There are definitely famous people who are not that that awkward but i don't know i find that the biggest artists of all time though are like really weird like michael Michael jackson michael jackson yeah that makes sense he wasn't exactly normal now was he (laughs) whitney houston yeah who Who else else is weird um justin bieber yeah he's yeah kind of weird yeah he's got a little bit weird he's not like super weird though i wouldn't i wouldn't classify him as like garth or michael no, no, no. Um, he's more weird because he's been a celebrity his whole life. Like, Yeah, that'd be different. As eh? Michael Jackson was. Can you imagine being a celebrity your whole life? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be awful. You're, you're burping a lot, aren't you? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I can't help it, man. I told you I'm full of burgers. You should have ordered the salad. I, <laughs> <laughs> I look like I'm a guy that's full of burgers right now. <laughs> anyway. Uh Anyway, what else is going on? <laughs> um, How's work? Oh, it's good. I get the okay. I get the long weekend, so that's fine. Work's oh, fine. True. Um, you actually have weekends. Yeah, yeah. Monday to Friday only. They asked. Okay, they asked me there because we we do these dances. There are these video dance parties, and usually like I'm like the host, and um, so they they're doing them again now because everything's getting lifted, all the restrictions and stuff. So my friend, she, uh, who I work with, she's like, text me. She's like, Hey, do you want to host a video dance party on March 4th? And I was like, that's the Friday, right? And she goes, yep. And I go, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, what? I said, that's the day the Batman comes out. Oh. There's no way that I'm missing it. So, um, she's like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah, like you're gonna have to find somebody else. Plus I'm not super comfortable yet with like, Cause when you host these dances, you you're at like a request table, and they're like, people come and be like, camp, 
play some Shania Twain, please. <laughs> and they're like this far away from your face. So I don't, oh, want, I'm don't not, I'm that. not ready for that. No, no. So, um, what ages are we talking about here? Oh, it's age of majority. So it's 19 plus. Okay. It's, uh, everybody's drunk and yeah, I, I remember like just being at the table and like people would come up and they'd be like so close cause it's so loud and they're like in their breath, like, you know, like just the smell. I'm surprised they're doing this already. Like, I don't March. Know. Yeah. March 4th. Like restrictions like get lifted on March 1st. And it's like, right. When have we it. seen this before? Like, do we really think they're all, all the numbers are just going to go away after this? I don't think so. No, you, you can't, I, you can't force this virus out, out the door. It doesn't happen like that. I'm not ready to do it yet. And, no. uh, even if plus, even I'll, if there was no virus, like this sounds like, a terrible I want to go see Batman. <laughs> You know, I want to see Batman too. Fifty percent capacity, baby. I'm gonna be there. <laughs> Have you bought your tickets yet? Or can no. you buy your tickets? Oh shit! I was supposed to buy them yesterday. Is it sold I gotta out? Buy them. I don't know yet. Maybe I've never. Missed... Maybe you can't host a video dance party. I'm not going. No, doesn't matter. I'll go Saturday, but I'm not. No, I'm gonna try to go. I definitely want to see this movie before I get spoiled. Before it's spoiled by somebody online. I've watched so much <clears throat> stuff on it. They've... I don't know how you. They've, no, you spoil no, movies before you even watch them. I'm talking about none of that stuff. I'm talking about like um, there's Fan, Fandango or Fa, I think that's what it's called. They did like a uh, whole cast like interview. So it has like Robert Pattinson, mm. Paul Dano, Zoe Kravitz, Colin Farrell and uh, Jeffrey Wright. And um, it they just talk about the movie, right? Yeah. So um, before I, the last movies, though, you you like... You like you're looking for leaks and stuff. Yeah. Like you watch the first like twenty minutes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can't do I that. remember that. I remember when the don't dark... you enjoy more when you're going fresh as opposed to. Like... I remember when the Dark Knight came out. There was like a Facebook thing, a group, and this guy's like, "I've seen it," and I was like, "I'm." I messaged him like, "How's it end?" Just tell me. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> How do you enjoy a movie when you know what's gonna happen? That no, I can't do that. I, I watched The Dark Knight today. It was on Showcase and part of The Dark yeah, Knight Rises. It's, yeah. When, when you watch it more than once, I get it. But the first time, don't you want that experience? Oh, yeah. No, the like, first time. Experience? Now that I'm older and stuff, like, yeah, I definitely. I don't want this movie spoiled for me at all. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. I want to be like fresh. Yeah, that's f- how I feel. Fresh Batman. Um, it's great. I'm excited for it, man. It's yeah. been a while since it's just a standalone Batman movie, like 10 years, I think. So, um, since it was just Batman, not they're, they're, not not like Justice League and all that stuff. I'm not I'm not in, I'm not a fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> well, those were that was those were not good movies. Um, yeah. Hey. Yeah. No no uh, diss to Ben Affleck. He was a good Batman, but I uh, everything. I, yeah. I definitely the looking forward to this. Hot. It looks very dark and cool. Is it only in theaters? I have to only look. in theaters. <sighs> I'm not doing that. Only. So, yeah. I'll have to wait till it streams. Mm-hmm. Oh well, whatever. I, uh, I, I watch the uh, the trailers all the time. Are we allowed to watch a trailer? Uh, probably not. Oh man, <laughs> really? Everyone here, I'm sure everyone that cares has already seen it, anyways. Yeah, I guess. Well, no. Okay. Well, that's not any fun. No. Um, I'm not risking that position. <clears throat> anyway, it's called the Batman. And it comes <laughs> March fourth, and you can find the trailer for it on YouTube. That's incredible. Mm-hmm. Are you being paid to advertise this thing? Imagine they paid you to advertise Batman. Man, I would love that. <laughs> you, ever, you ever play Twitter Roulette, where you just scroll? That's a good idea. Here you say scroll, 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 and then I'll tell you when to stop. Here, let's do it right now. Okay. You got to uh, lean over a little bit, though. Actually, I'll, I'll just pull this over. See what happens. Oh. Right. I'll just like. What is this? Garmin's epic. T- no, it kept going. Whoa! Look at What's those. This? Look at those Ottomans. This person is looking for an Ottoman. Ottomans or Ottoman? An Ottoman umpire, <laughs> apparently. Ha! <laughs> oh man, that's no. that was really bad. Kane sinks Man, man City. City to open up title race. Soccer. <laughs> wow. Imagine seeing a "Don't swim with diarrhea" sign and getting mad at the pool operator. Congrats, you're now a Trump supporter. <laughs> okay. Hey, that makes me uh, have a good idea. I was saying earlier to you that we should play Would You Rather on the, on this. Okay. And because um, me and my girlfriend, we were playing Would You Rather at the, uh, we went out for breakfast the other day. 
So her would you rather was what I want to would I pick my sister's nose and eat the booger <laughs> or like I would do that or I had to put my hands in diarrhea and piss for 10 minutes. Who's diarrhea and piss? Whoever's and then just like keep them there. Oh, di- diarrhea and piss for sure. Really? Yeah. I don't keep e- your hands in t- for 10 minutes. It's your hands, not your fucking tongue. I know, but if you just ate a booger, it would take like two seconds. It's your sister's bo- no. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, so okay. definitely, definitely hands for sure. Let me think of a would you rather then. Okay, would you rather? Hmm, gotta be careful here. <laughs> well, it can't be too crazy. Um. Okay. Would you? Okay. How about this one? Would you rather take a bite of a piece of shit, <laughs> or? Take a, a chug of diarrhea. <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess the bike that could spit it out, right? No. <laughs> you had to eat it. Oh my god, David, that's so gross. <laughs> this can I can I commit suicide? Is that an option? <laughs> I don't know. See, these, don't... these are the things. Me and my me and my co-host, man, we play Would You Rather all the time, and it's like insane. <laughs> Like it is fucking insane. On the air. Well, we play on the air, but we when we play on the air, it's like, would you rather be a rose or a tulip? <laughs> <laughs> and then like I'll start with like family friendly stuff like that, and then I'll end it with like, would you rather do a cartwheel naked in front of your parents or have them do somersaults naked in front of you? <laughs> See, that I almost feel like G-rated Would You Rather is almost more enjoyable because once you get to the crazy shit, it's just like poo and shit yeah. and like, like even worse. Like, I don't, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. <laughs> like it, it forces you to be, to be more creative when it's like G-rated. Okay, uh, okay. How about this one then? G-rated. Would you rather? Okay. Grow a giant beard, mm-hmm. and for and be forced to have her for ten years, or would you rather have a handlebar mustache for two months? Uh, hand- oh, sorry, not a handlebar, mar- like a mustache that goes like it twirls out. <laughs> Whatever uh, that's for called. just two months. Yeah, I'd do the mustache. For the that. mustache over the beard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Now I can't remember what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Would you rather have like a giant rack of tits? <laughs> Is this G-rated? <laughs> uh, I guess not. No, would it's you, okay. Keep going. Would you rather have a giant rack of tits, that, as opposed to a different kind that of rack? Always, <laughs> that you had to honk after every sentence you said. Wait. So, like every, after everything you said, you just go mm, like this. <laughs> or would you rather have like? A I like bit- how the tits are enough. I have to also honk. <laughs> Not only do you have a giant rack, but you have to honk them. Yeah, after every sentence you say. Oh my god! Or would you rather have like a big dump truck ass, and 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 then turn around and have somebody pat it after every sentence you say? Who's the somebody that's doing that? To whoever you're talking to. <laughs> you're asking me would I rather be a woman, and, and what kind of woman would I rather be? <laughs> I think I think either one of those women. Are like the same type of woman, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, see the first assuming one. Assuming they want to do the, that. The first one is you just being like, uh, "Hey, uh, what's the temperature outside?" Mm. <laughs> and then, or you could be like, "What's the temperature outside?" Mm-hmm. Like, but, right? but but that assumes the person you're talking to is into it and has to do that. Yeah. I, guys. I'd have to go with the ass slapping because it'd be really weird being in conversation and I have to do this and you, you couldn't converse with anybody. I think I'd rather do the be have the tits. No, but how could you talk to and no one take you seriously? All right, how about this one? <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be a Chesapeake Bay Retriever or a German Shepherd? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know what a Chesapeake, <laughs> Chesapeake Bay it's like Retriever a, it's like a, is. It's like a chocolate lab. Oh, okay, chocolate lab. Or a golden retriever. No, a, a German shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so clearly Dave wants to be a golden retriever. <laughs> I'd rather be a border collie than the, the smartest one. What? Oh, okay. Smartest dogs. I was watching that movie Babe the other night. The pig. Oh, yeah. He's a pretty smart pig. 
He's a he, it's not, it's not real life. <laughs> <laughs> he's essentially a border collies uh, border are collie. actually really like smart. Yeah, well, he, real life. he he gets raised by a border collie dog. Does he? Yeah, elk's on a farm because because they take him to the farm and she's like, "Don't worry about it, babe." So the border collie teaches him to speak English. Is that how that works? They already know how to talk. They just <laughs> they, just, <laughs> they just don't talk in front of humans. They only talk to each other. It's like Toy Story. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's a good movie, man. Oh, I've I've seen I've babe, seen versions of and that. And then uh, and then at the end, babe, babe, uh, he's a he um, herds the the sheep of the the contest, and then the guy says that'll do, pig. But you watch this? Yeah, it's a good movie. Like willingly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a nice nighttime movie because the movie I watched before the night before was a fucking thriller called The Clove Hitch Killer, which okay. I really liked. Yeah, I'm gonna, good. you recommend it. It's that. on Netflix. I'll, I'll check that out. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I don't know. It's on Netflix Canada, so. So that could mean something else. Could mean that it's not on another Netflix, yeah. depending on where you're watching. But it's hmm. really good. Hmm. Would you rather be covered in blankets and a sweater on the beach in summertime? Okay. Or would you rather... Have underwear on <laughs> on a frozen lake, and it's really windy. <laughs> <laughs> For how long? Uh, let's say both last about thirty minutes. Mm. Actually, you know what? Let's say twenty minutes, because I feel like you might die. Okay, uh, the, I'm gonna go underwear. Scenario. Underwear in the cold. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I hate being hot, man. It's very uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. I th- I feel like you'd pick the hot one though. Over the cold one. Yeah, probably. I don't mind being cold, but it gets to a point where it's like, yeah, I'm going to die. Yeah. <laughs> like, whereas, like, I feel like I'm going to maybe going to die when I'm really hot, but I'm not going to. Yeah, so I don't know. Okay. I feel like. Drink lots of water first, you're fine. I feel like getting warm after you're cold is, like, more rewarding or, like, it's just it's almost, it's, it almost stings you for at first it's though. It's like oh okay I'm getting warm again because I was so cold. But like you but hey when you do walk into like a nice store on a hot summer day and there's nice uh, air conditioning I, I like staying in that that's, store. No that's that's good. Yeah. That's a tip for all you real real uh, retail people out there. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your stores cold in the summer and you'll the have people the people stay in, in there, there longer. Mm-hmm. They might not buy anything, but they'll stay in there. That's right. <laughs> they'll loiter around. <laughs> it's like uh, that uh, Nathan for you. I know I've talked about it before, but Nathan for you, and he he goes to help this woman's clothing store, and he creates a a, a a zone for the guys in the back. So he's like, so when guys go in with their girlfriends, they just want to be anywhere else, and so mm-hmm. the women feel rushed to make a purchase or whatever. He's like, but if there's a dedicated man zone in the back, the women can shop unobstructed. So, like, he's in Sounds the back. Sounds like actually a really good idea. He, he's in the back room, and he's like, you want to you wanna fucking brewski? And, like, this guy is, like, trying to be a bro. Like, if you've seen Nathan for you, it's, like, <laughs> him trying to, like, be relatable to anybody is hilarious. And he's just like, yeah, man. So they're having a beer, and Nathan will be like, you know what I fucking love, man, is sex man <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's like oh hell yeah i love sex too and it's like what's your favorite position and he's like <laughs> oh my god and the guy's like doggy style he's like oh yeah from behind yeah he's like mine missionary man fucking girl on the bottom me, me on top it's like it's amazing <laughs> so, is your mom gonna watch this my mom <laughs> oh maybe she wouldn't care Mary told me uh, her aunt watched our last episode. Oh no! <laughs> and she said we were funny, but like, I don't know how she found the <laughs> found the show. I mean, clearly most people cannot find it. So yeah. I'm not sure how she found it. Hey, I will say this, man. Like I've like you know I come back to just check on it or whatever, and <clears throat> um, it seems like that secondary channel is gaining some followers. Oh no! Yeah, no. So that's good. We got some subs. Yeah, man. It's mm-hmm. cool. It's a good break from my everyday news cycle bullshit. I, I hear that. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's like <laughs> very depressing and slow and exhausting. It's it's getting to everybody, man. It yeah. really is. <clears throat> like everybody 
listens to the news cycle and it, it's a little I think odd. a lot have just people just like stop paying attention because it's really depressing like, it gets to a point where it's just you know I won't even when people try to like talk to me about what's going on like with especially here in Canada right now it's like I won't even engage in it man I'm just like um hey no you know yeah I don't uh not talking about that <laughs> So, I don't mind talking about it. If anything, it's a way for me to get it, like, to get it out. Everybody just feels like they're a fucking expert now that they have. A oh no! Well, on social media. It depends it's who you're. It depends who you're talking to. I guess it's really stupid. <laughs> it's really if, stupid. If someone's like actually curious about like my opinion, I'd be like, okay, I'll share it with you. But sure. If, but if someone's like pushing their garbage on me, I'm like, yeah. okay. Uh, I just never knew that like everybody how about became. Those I I, le- I didn't know anybody became a political expert now because they all had access to social media. That's what's really weird to me. It's like people it's think like, they know. When what did anybody talking. care about politics? Like you, yeah. you did. You always have. But, but it's like, like my job to pay even, attention. Even ten like, years ago, you didn't see this type of shit on social media. No, no, at all. No. People it's, were like posting yeah. like. <clears throat> I don't know why was it when on Facebook back when you look at your like memories there's like a status like so it says is this like you know what I mean I think it was like I think I think the way Facebook used to be it's like say what your mood is or something it was like I'm feeling like this or this like it's not what that My, I think it was like miles is this or David that was is a, this like status updates yeah and then the status update is like it would say something is and then it would be like miles is drinking beer with david yeah yeah you know what i mean yeah and then they brought in like hey you can share news and you can share this stuff and they, you can make a page if you're a you know yeah new york times or fox news or whatever and then the, you know shit yeah. gets cycled and hey would you rather <clears throat> would you rather um be mark zuckerberg or um do I have to be him or his position, his job? You have to be him. Oh God. Okay. Or. Or. Um. Or. Jeff Bezos. I have to. I have to be one or the other. Yeah. Bezos. Because he went to space. Well, that and I mean, if I'm going to be a billionaire, I might as well be. I might, might as well have more money. And, and less controversy. I feel like Zuckerberg is just like, because of Facebook, you know, he's like just, he. I think he's part of, the, Facebook's part of the reason why shit is so bad. Oh, I 100%, Whereas like, 100% agree. Amazon's definitely like a, a terrible company the way they treat workers, but but they, they didn't cause like, they didn't help to cause Trumpism and all this garbage. Oh, like yeah. That's, so that's kind of the, the divide there, I think. I think that social media, especially Facebook, <clears throat> Is like one of the worst things that's ever happened. Yeah. No. Facebook, the way the algorithm works, oh my God. It's just, that's where a lot of this garbage comes from. Like mm-hmm. these brainwashed people posting their shit. Everybody has a voice now. <clears throat> yeah. When before they didn't, you know? So it was like, it was nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everyone always had a voice. Yeah. But they didn't have to have it public and to the world. Right. <laughs> right. Um, hey, maybe, you know what? We should show that that uh, that video of that guy in in, uh, in hmm. Canada here today. Which one? The guy, oh. the guy in front of... Yelling at so, the truck? <clears throat> so I'm from a city. Um, I live in a city called Peterborough. And... Um, <clears throat> what should I, how should I look this uh, Type Johnny Fondue. Good follow on Twitter, by the way. J O H N N Y. There he is. So anyway, um, anti this, anti vaxxer. Th- yeah, this guy he he's on top of like the anti vax movement. Well, he's not an anti vaxxer. He's against them. Um, but anyway, so there was a slow roll convoy in Peterborough today, and uh, so there was a counter protester. I can probably do that. Five rounds. Oh, okay. A truck. <laughs> Uh, we just like lean somehow. Uh, so yeah, give us context here. So anyway, this is this is on a not a super busy street, but there's the, the, there's a college right behind at this intersection here. Um, so this is part of the slow roll, and this this guy in the vest is an anti 
he's a counter protester. So this guy, uh, this other guy, he um, he's trying to get him to move out of the way so that the convoy can go through. But he's like, no, man. He's like, you guys want to protest? I'm protesting. And then so this other fucking loser comes out of the nowhere and is like yelling in this guy's face. And I was saying to David, I'm like, what kind of a fucking loser do you have to be to like go and scream in somebody's face? Like, this is your day. Like, this is what you're doing today. Let's this is Saturday. Let's check it out. You're done with us. Come on and state your name. No. You're on live. Huh? Okay. Hi. What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem today? What's the problem today? What's the problem today? Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Get your fucking hands fucking off me! Fucking babies, man. Get your Fuck off. Hands off me. Get off we me, already have fuck. a police on board. Yeah, yeah, I know you don't. Know. Yeah, that car Get that you guys have up here? Get off me! Get off me, blood! Get off me! Get off me! This is uh, me. the example of the intimidation and violence that is going to be used. So oh, that was pretty, that guy's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah, like the guy didn't want anything to do with him, and he's <clears> in his face. So. And this is like this isn't the thing about watching this is I'm not even shocked by this. Like this is just normal behavior now for a lot of people. This mm -hmm. is how they act. Yeah. It is so like, wild. If that, over if I was over what? Like, yeah, like exactly. Getting a fucking vaccine. This guy, <laughs> that guy, guarantee already has like four vaccines because you know to be to go to school to to live a life in this country, you have to have va <gasps> certain vaccines. You are spilling beer everywhere. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. Did you shake it up? No. Well, see what happened there, folks. Miles gets a little messy at times. <laughs> Okay, but what was I saying? Vaccines over a vaccine over a something you already have for other for other uh, reasons. Masks. A oh my god! Did you watch David Cross's special? Not yet. He has a great part. <laughs> he has a great part on vaccines or on masks, where he like lists all the things that are as bad or as bad or worse than wearing a mask. And the first thing he <laughs> he lists is having a ladybug on your shoulder. <laughs> and it's just like, because wearing a mask indoors for, you know, 10 minutes, whatever, however long you're inside, is not that big of a freaking deal. Having but... a ladybug on your shoulder. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But like, to get that worked up about something like that, like, not to mention that <clears throat> mandates are going to be lifted soon anyway. Like, if you were just stop being a little... Yeah. Uh, Which I don't agree with, by the way, but... <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. It, but, hey, it's happening. And, you know, if you weren't such a, like, a friggin' impatient little baby, you, <laughs> you could come off as a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that'd be asking too much for some people. I know. See, we try not to get political here, but it just, it's impossible. That's this is right. our life. This is the shit... Yeah, I guess we're just talking about life. This is the shit we got to deal with every day. Um, <laughs> it's family day weekend here in uh, Canada. That's right. I don't know if it's uh, anywhere else. I don't think they have family day in the U.S. All right. Well, hey, <clears throat> at some point our government was like, these people need a, uh, a long weekend in the middle of winter. So they gave us one. And it's this is the weekend. Um, so I don't know. But... On our morning show on the radio, we were talking about um, Family Day and stuff. And every time we talked about it, we played the uh, the intro to Family Matters. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that theme? Vaguely. It's like... Oh, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> fun fact, the guy who wrote the Family Matters theme song also wrote the Full House theme song. And it's sung by the same guy, and they sound very similar. I wish we could play them, because they're amazing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but now that you mention it, that makes I, I, I can see that. It's a rare condition in this day and age to read any good news on the newspaper page. <laughs> Love and tradition. Family oh, my God. That was a problem back then, too, to read good news in, in the newspaper back in the early 90s. Did you watch Family Matters? <laughs> no, but I'm saying... Did you watch it? No, not really. Okay, well, it was the show with Steve Urkel. Yeah, I know that. Um, 
And I was saying to my co-host Mike, my favorite episode, and I don't know if you remember this, but Steve Urkel was really smart nerd. He made a, um, he made like a cool robot, not a cool robot, but like a robot of himself. It was like a Steve. I don't think I saw it. Okay. And also another episode, he made this machine that would turn him into a cool guy. So his name was Steve Urkel. Oh, that I, uh, yeah. But I've, when seen, he, I've seen those. When he was a cool guy, his name was Stefan Arkell. <laughs> <laughs> and he was just like himself as an actor, basically. Yeah. It was just regular Jaleel yeah. White. Yeah. Jaleel White. That was his name. Can we get a round of applause for Jaleel White, please? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Abrupt finish to that applause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reminds me of uh, that new uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air show is out now. Have you seen this? I, I heard one person tweet about how like why are they butchering the show? It's called Bel Air, and it's like a dramatic take on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Have they just like run out of ideas or like, it was is it is it good? I don't know. I heard I was listening to CBC Radio the other guy and uh, on. Q, it's a show on CBC Radio. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they were interviewing like one of the, I think it was the director of the show, maybe. And he was talking about it, and it was like, it seemed cool. Like, I'll, I might give it a shot. I don't know. That's weird. Yeah. Weird, a weird basis for it. Like, who thought that up? Like, hey, you know what? Let's make this dramatic. Like, why? It doesn't need to be. It, it sounds it, it sounds all. like a way to sell because he could have made the show and have it nothing to do with like Fresh Prince of Bel Air, just like have a dramatic series about, you know, this kid in Philadelphia or something. But they had to do a spinoff. That's really weird. And there was dramatic moments in the Fresh Prince. Yeah, yeah. It was like any any good like you know sitcom. Yeah, it has those moments where they're kind of serious. It's like let's let's be serious for a minute. Here. Then again. I, I was just thinking, I watched Seinfeld last night. I don't think there's any been any. There's never been a serious moment in Seinfeld ever. Yeah, I think the most <laughs> serious of moment one. of Seinfeld is like when they're in jail at the very end of the. But that wasn't series. even that wasn't even serious. Like they were like joking about it. Like they didn't. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's true. And Seinfeld is the best sitcom ever. Yeah, and they never had a single like serious moment. Uh huh. Anyway, let's. What else is going on? On do you want to uh -huh. do some more Twitter roulette? Can I hit sure. one of those buttons here? Can I just touch one? Yeah, let's touch one. Let's see your toenails, bitch. Uh, nice. Oh, I saw you on TYT the other day. That's right, with Anna Casberry. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> she's uh, she's very nice. Yeah, she is very nice. I don't know her personally, but I do like <laughs> I do like her I ideas. Lizard, the owner, of, the owner of Lizard Lick Towing, a towing and repossession business featuring a reality TV show, has confirmed that his son was killed in a shoot. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I should have read ahead before I started. <laughs> <laughs> Why was he killed? I don't want to know. Uh, That's too much for me. Yeah, let's not do climate shit right now. I don't know who needs to hear this, but your First Amendment rights in Canada pertain mostly to voting in Manitoba, plus some land and fishing rights if you're Métis. Okay. <laughs> Netflix announces four new comedy specials to be hosted, but produced by Dave Chappelle. Hosted and produced? Hmm. Interesting. Huh. Awkward. That bus crash on skin scared me. Okay. Or scarred me? Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that was. <laughs> I think such an accounting is essential. From a surface glance, a lot of what the police did to clear the convoy could have been done with the existing power on day one. I agree. That, yeah. That's probably true. But the problem is, how do you make them do that before the emergencies act? Because a lot of what happened, they, they brought in police from all over the country to do this. But also, the Emergencies Act power allows them to request tow companies pull the trucks away, which they cannot do without that power. So there are certain limitations. But anyways, it's a whole other discussion. What's that? Well, oh, you should follow this. Painting? Canadian Paintings is a great account. Yeah, let's look yeah. at it. That's nice. <laughs> it's very nice. What is it? Um, it looks, it like looks like maybe... a planet and like this, the sky. I don't know about that. I think it's water. I why think it's why like is it a circular? It's in the water. Maybe. What's the gold? I don't know. Winter sunset, I guess, tells where you're. <laughs> Winter what? sunset. I can see that. They're like standing on ice. Yeah, yeah. And maybe just a gold, a golden glow, though. I haven't really seen that in the sunset. Yo, this one, uh, this one guy on Twitter that I follow, his name is Brandon Lilbridge or something like that. 
Oh man, he's such a good artist. He he does like um, psychedelic paintings. Here, I'll post something over here. Brandon Littlebridge or Lil Lil something. Lil. Brandon. Lil. There, down, third one. Yes, this guy's unreal. I love this guy's stuff, man. He's amazing. Look mm. at that. Isn't that cool? Wow. Damn. That's that's nothing though. Like he, this guy does some crazy stuff. This looks like icing. Vanilla Maybe icing. Maybe it is. <laughs> Maybe it's fondant. Fondant? Look at this guy. That's pretty good. Like seriously. Off a of Mac. Why is he taking a picture of a Mac Pro? I'm confused. His reflection of the laptop. <laughs> is that what that is? He that's a painting. He's done. <laughs> Go down. What? No, it's like, guys, my reflection on my laptop screen looks like oh. a painting. It's not, oh. even, it's not even his painting. <laughs> oh. But that doesn't... <laughs> you're like, look how good this is. Okay, but he, seriously, go go down to more. He's so good, man. I believe you. I believe you. Okay, that's, that, that's, that's... That's interesting. Th th there's so much more. Th th this guy is unbelievable. Um, I wish... There's Tyler, the creator. Fork and knife in his brain. Pancake. Oh, <laughs> space off that. But this, he does so much good things. This isn't. This <laughs> no, isn't... I, I've seen you, you show me his Instagram. I agree with you. No, yeah. he has like that. That's incredible. Very cool. Nudity on YouTube. Pull down. Blocked. It's not though. <laughs> But yeah, I would like to get something from him. Cool, cool. Well, when it's your birthday, I'll think about this. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that! Like, look at that. That that's that's cool. I think mm. I just think that's cool, man. Have you tried painting before? Uh, I won the art award in grade six. I won a coloring contest when I was probably grade three or something. It was uh for during Easter newspaper. You had like a bunny you color it in you send it in yeah and i i did that and they picked me how'd you win they just picked me they called me and like i won what'd you win like a giant stuffed rabbit like a huge stuffed rabbit that's sick bro that's pretty cool <laughs> that is sick but i'm not very good yeah i won the art award in grade six there's also the um the valedictorian in grade six because my my school only went up <laughs> what p me, me comfortably settled inside a warm blanket about to sleep peacefully <laughs> <laughs> I know the feeling. Man, uh, I've, I've pissed the bed a couple times. Not recently. <laughs> not here, I hope. No, of course not. Okay. But as a child, yes, I did. I peed the bed. The I last think, time. I think we all have. The last time I peed the bed, mm -hmm. um, I, I was having a dream. This is at my... There you're peeing? I'll get there. Okay. I was at my grandparents' old house in, uh, in Toronto when they had that. And uh, this in the dream. Actually, no, no. In real life, I was in the house. <laughs> yeah. And uh, in the dream, I was sitting, I was a passenger in like in my parents' car and we were driving by a billboard. The billboard said urine in big letters. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I woke up and I peed my pants. <laughs> I think I was like 10 years old. The last time I peed my pants. Urine. Yeah, it said urine. <laughs> I remember a time like that when I peed the bed too, man. I was like... Um, I was uh, I was dreaming that I had to pee in my dream, right? And I and I got to this bathroom, and I turned and there was all these light switches in it, and I had to turn on all these light switches before I could pee, and I had to pee so bad, right? Mm -hmm. And then so I was like turning on all these light switches in the bathroom, <laughs> and then I was like all of them were finally on. I was like, okay, great, now I can pee. And then in my dream, I just let loose a piss <laughs> into the toilet. And then I wake up and I could just feel like uh, I was peeing the bed. And I was like, oh, man. You know, <laughs> I was probably like 10. Oh, it, was yeah. pretty, it was a late, late time to be oh, peeing the bed. That was the last time I peed the bed, 10 years old. Yeah. It happens, you know? Yeah. We've all been there, man. We've all been there. It's fine. It's okay. Surprisingly, usually by the end of this podcast, I have to like run to the washroom. I'm doing okay. Yeah. I'm doing okay. Today. I can feel, I can feel a pee coming on. All right. How about this? Would you rather have to pee super bad? See? Did you shake them? No. Would you rather have to pee super bad or have to uh, 
Uh, crap, super bad. <laughs> oh, P super bad. P, P for sure. Because like when you have to crap really badly, it's like not a good feeling. No, Especially it, if you're like, and usually it happens when you're in public. Yeah, yeah. And like when you have to pee really bad in public, at, at least the, at the end of that, you don't have to, you know, almost sit on like a public toilet. Right. You can just like stand and pee. I remember this. Uh, there, I remember I was at like a wedding one time. And this girl, we're, I don't know why, we're, every, we're all outside like having a cigarette or something. And uh, this girl, I just heard her, I remember her saying that she had never farted before. And she was like 22 probably at the time. She's like, no, I've never farted before. <laughs> and I was like, shut up. I'm like, everybody has farted. Like, everybody has farted before. Did she's I know like, you at this like, point? What? Do I know who this is? No, no, no. Okay. I think this is before I met you. Okay. Anyway, um... I'm like, everybody's for it before. And she's like, I haven't. And I'm like, Shh, whatever, man. I'm like, shut up. Like, yes, you have. And her boyfriend's like, she hasn't farted before, man. <laughs> what? And I was like, okay. Like, I'm not going to get into a fight over, like, saying that your girlfriend clearly has been lying about farting for her whole <laughs> life. <laughs> and you're defending her honor. Oh, man. How, what? Why does somebody even think? To lie about that. <laughs> I guess... Cause, I guess she wasn't cool with it, man. Because obviously she has. That's just so weird. That's so weird that somebody would be so adamant about, like, never having farted before. Yeah, it's... And it's... Was she, like... Is it a problem? Like, I have, like, a medical condition? Like, no! <laughs> there's, like, an issue? She's just... She just hadn't done it before. I, I haven't because I, I shouldn't beg, so... <laughs> I don't need to when I shouldn't beg. Like, if it was like that, then I can get it. Shit in a bag? Some people oh, have yeah, yeah. shit in a bag. Yeah. I was like, I was thinking about like a grocery bag. <laughs> it's like, I don't fart, but I definitely shit in grocery bags. See? <laughs> oh, yeah, but now, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway wow that's that's insane cool that's well insane. should we go <laughs> maybe um excuse me i feel me. like there's more i have to say what haven't i said I what know. haven't you said i don't know um Did what you... time's the slam dunk contest start can we google that have you and your uh, co-host fought again <laughs> no <laughs> not at all we love each other, oh, man. Update us on the telescope. What's happening? Okay. Do we get some pictures yet yes, or what? J you can pull it up right now on, on Twitter. Uh, I'll try to explain James it. James Webb telescope? James Webb. Yeah. Very cool stuff. Webb with two, two Bs, but that's fine. Uh, I'll just search it up in general. NASA has an official. There it is, right there. All right. Okay. So if we can fire this up here. So I don't know if you know about the James Webb Space Telescope, but it's the biggest, most advanced telescope human uh, humans have ever constructed. It's in space now, and it's just getting calibrated. Um, so it took a picture of a star. I can't remember the name. I can't remember the name of the star that it took a picture of, but it's a. Here it is, right here. Um, so. What you're looking at here is the arranged dot, I'll say 18 spots um, of this star. So they're trying to calibrate, the James Webb looks like a honeycomb. Uh, the the uh, So this is one star and it's all yes, different points. That is all one star, but there's 18 hexagonal mirrors on the James Webb uh, itself. Okay. So it took 18 pictures with each, with each mirror. So when those... When that mirror is totally calibrated and it is working as one, then we'll get the picture. This is the first picture that James Webb has taken. So, um, so it, it sucks. It, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> it's a little underwhelming, but trust me, once this thing is dialed in, this thing will blow your mind. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So it's. I guess it, I should follow. It's working this. fine. Everything's working fine. Yeah, follow. It's a great follow. All right. Um, looking forward 1. to this. One point two million followers, bro. Damn. Unfold the universe. Way more than me, that's for sure. Crazy. So yeah, first uh, picture is coming in the summer. 
Um, the summer. Yeah. Oh god. Like June. So far away. Not really. March, April, May, June. <laughs> okay. Well, based months. on the weather outside, it feels like it's going to be forever. I know, but we're, we'll get we'll get more of these little updates with James Webb too. So um, it's not that far away, really. Okay. Time flies, man, and then it will go back and look like billions of years in the past. So <laughs> it's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That's the one cool thing about space. You see a star, it's like you're looking at what that star looked like like years ago, or like months ago. Exactly. We're looking at the sun. Whatever's happening on the sun was eight and a half minutes ago because that's how long it takes for the light to get to us. It's wild. If you want to know anything, really, just ask me and I will tell you. Or watch Interstellar. You can do that too. Interstellar would explain it a lot better. <laughs> but anyway, so that's about it. All right. For Th- me, for now. Thanks, everybody, for showing up. Uh, I hope that wasn't too controversial. <laughs> Were we controversial at all? I don't think so. Okay. The big tits, the big ass. That was, I guess, the most controversial part of this whole thing. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Not even controversial. It's like whatever. It's fine. Did I choose? I said ass. I said ass. I I think yeah, I think you did say yeah. ass because that means someone else is slapping. It, which... I picked tits. Yeah, but see, if someone else was slapping my tits, uh, I may pick tits. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Everybody. Bye.